What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and this is uh, part 3 of the 404 Challenge. Uh, last time I left you, I'd kind of cowered in this corner back here while I was being attacked and uh, managed to get a few things set up. Thought I'd show you how I got it going so far. Uh, dug out a little area here and uh, found a lava pool, so I used the sand I brought down with me, cooked it, made some glass, and covered it up for some natural lighting and to keep me from falling off in there. And then I borrowed another one of y'all's ideas that you told me about. Uh, you know, planted some saplings, got one tree that's grown so far, and uh, hopefully the rest of these will too. Using my pumpkins as lighting, and got my you know equipment set up over here, and uh, I set up a one-way entryway over here, and used some the cactus I brought down with me as kind of a defensive shield, and it's worked pretty good so far. Step out, something tries to attack me, I kind of just drop back in here, let it run into the cactus till it dies. So. You can see I managed to get enough string from a couple spiders to build a bow. Um, I got a pretty good selection of arrows from some skeletons that followed me back. Uh, finally found some um, iron ore so I can make some steel. I got a uh, steel uh, pickaxe and a bucket so I can collect some stuff now. In the interim, I'm going to head out. Um, also found quite a bit of redstone torches and what, well, redstone to make torches. So I thought we'd head out and see what we can find. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys to see. So, uh, there's already a zombie. Come here. Oh, you can't make it through the water, can you? I have to be careful. I was over here earlier, and there's some creepers that keep coming up this direction. I killed three or four of them. They keep falling off. Let's see if this one's still down here. Let's see. Is he still down there splashing around the water? I think he is. Yep, there he is. Killed one, but of course I can't reach him now, so, you know. Oh, well, I guess. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, things are bad. Run away! Following me? Man, I gotta be careful here. I don't have any more um, pork or any kind of meat whatsoever. And I'm hoping this tree forest takes off here pretty soon and I can, you know, maybe some animals will start spawning in. And if you see something I should do differently with it to uh, help it grow, let me know. Oh, and by the way, um, yeah, there is water underneath. There was a nice little pond here, so I used the bucket I had and uh, kind of this whole area that's under the dirt is water so took a few trips back and forth but fortunately for me right up in here is a water source so I didn't have to go too far it's working pretty good so far um, really wish I could use some torches actually um, you know these redstone torches don't put off much light so I'm kind of left to my own accord here <coughs> excuse me I'm really wanting to explore but dang I need something to you know replenish some life here and it's it's not working too well where'd you go oh hey sneak up on me like that that's not cool at all I'm glad the zombies drop feathers for the longest time I always wondered why they did but now I'm very thankful that they do because you know need them for arrows finding plenty of flint and with my tree farm going on back here I'm getting plenty of sticks but oh man I'm low on life uh oh it needs a run button. Stop following me. <laughs> Ugh, I can't go back over there. I got no life. I'm going to have to try a different route and see if I can find something useful. Come on, pigs. I need you to spawn. I may have to replace some more of this dirt and dig out some more. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time in this area, but, you know, if it's not going to help me, just having one tree growing here and a whole bunch of pumpkins not helping too much man oh oh that helps good job <laughs> good lord why don't I just kill myself yes there's a small detriment to using cactus as a defensive shield is run into it and you just about die oh man alrighty I have to come up with a game plan here like anything useful in here doesn't really look like it. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if none of this is really going to help me here. Man, it's too bad I can't eat a bone, get some life back from it. I don't know what to do to get some more life. I mean, there's no animals down here, and I can't eat some zombie flesh because they won't give me any. So I hear. Uh, you know, I keep up. To, oh, that's not going to go well. Please don't blow up my cacti. Oh crap. Let's see, I got my bow. Make sure I got some distance between me and him. 
Or her, I guess. Where'd you go? It's a nice little pit. I can maybe turn that into a trap. Uh-oh. Spider! Following me? Okay. Come here. Still behind me? Okay. See, that's what I was talking about. He'll just jump and keep running into the cactus until he eventually dies. And that's how I managed to get so much string. So, <laughs> it works. In case you're down here all alone and you need some advice, that's something useful to have. Save on some ammo and risk getting hit in the, in the process. Oh, good lord. Come on, retard. Playing some dramatic music to signal my demise, I guess. So anyway, as I was saying, I've been keeping up with the updates and stuff that Notch has posted, and it looks like here pretty soon we're going to get weather, which is something I've kind of been hoping he'd put in for a long time. You know, we've got some thunderstorms with some realistic lightning, and, um, you know, if it rains or whatever during the day, it'll cause monsters to spawn, obviously, because it'll be dark outside, so that's going to be cool. And uh, let's hit up here. You know, it's just some cool stuff like that. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to where Minecraft is going. And, uh, it's, it's come a long ways and it's going to be fun. Anyway, um, I'm not going to do too much more of the video because I'm going to die. So I'll park it right here for a minute. And, uh, as per my last video, as I said at the end of my videos now, what I'll do is a shout out to another commentator on YouTube. And maybe give them a little bit more exposure and maybe they'll return the favor. Uh, what I'm going to do is keep the shout outs to um, commentators doing related videos. Um, in other words, I'm not going to, you know, shout out somebody doing Minecraft or, you know, Fallout or something like that on uh, Call of Duty because it's non related and, you know, people want to kind of see what's related. So, Minecraft videos, I'll do call outs to other Minecraft commentators. And there's a guy that's been a follower of mine for a while. And uh, he's got a lot of Minecraft videos, does a real good job with them, and uh, he's got some pretty cool projects. And hopefully, you go check him out. I'll post the uh, link to his channel in the description. But his uh, actual username is JOH9569, and I'll post it on the screen right here. Anyway, go check him out. Uh, I'm not saying you have to go sub or we have to give him 100 likes or anything like that, but you know, he's got some cool videos and doing a good job with it. And I uh, hopefully you'll show him the same level of gratitude you've shown me. I know I've walked back and forth in this area quite a bit, but I'm kind of a coward when I have no life. So hopefully by the time the next video comes up, I'll have a tree farm and a whole bunch of little pigs running around. In the meantime, hope you guys uh, like the video. Uh, leave some comments, let me know what you want to see me do next down here. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.